Hi there, in this video we're going to dive straight into building the homepage for our project. I'm going to build out this page without stopping too much along the way to explain what's happening. I just, um, just want to give you a feel for what it's like to work with Tailwind and Alpine. Feel free to follow along if you like or you can just come along for the ride. If you are coding along you can always pause it and go back if you need to. Then in the next videos we'll slow down, we'll recap what we've just done and break it all down piece by piece. If you are following along you'll be able to find the link to this XD mockup in the exercise files. Okay so let's jump back over to our code and make a start. So let's get rid of our uh, H1 tag that we use for testing. And on the body tag, we're going to add a class of text, zinc100. This is going to style the text for the website. Then we're going to need a div inside of our body tag, a class of container, and mx auto. That's going to give our site a width. And let's add another div in here with a class of background teal 800. And also a padding of six. Okay, let's, um, let's just add a P tag in here with some random text. We'll save it. And we'll just go over to our browser and see where we are with things. Let's close that down and I'm also going to close down my console here and if we right click on our website go inspect just to open it up just just so you've got a fresh start and if we click on the second icon in here this mode lets us inspect things in in a responsive view and what I'm going to do over here on the right hand side is this little grab handle. I'm going to drag things in so it's more of a mobile size. This isn't an exact science but it just, um, just gives us a good place to start from. So let's have a look at our uh, mock-up and see what to do next. So the navigation is made up of two parts. We've got the logo on the left and these links on the right. So let's jump back over to our code and make a start on the navigation. So for the navigation we're going to need a div that contains the nav itself. Then we'll need two other divs that are for the left and right elements. And we'll need one A tag in here for the logo. This is Scott Green T. Then inside this second div, we'll need three A tags that are for each of those icons. And for now, we're just gonna add one, two, three in there, just, just as a placeholder. Then on this parent div, which is like the container for our navigation, we are going to add a class of flex and justify between and a margin bottom of six. And for the logo, we're going to add a class of text XL. And for the Scott part of the logo, we're going to wrap that in a span tag and give it a class of font bold. And for the right hand side of our navigation, we want all of these A tags to line up. So we're also going to give this a class of flex and we'd like the items to all be centered. Now I think the next step would be to replace our placeholders here with some icons and for that we're going to use SVGs. So let's open up the exercise files for this video 
and you'll see a home, a menu, and a search SVG file. I'm just going to right click on those and open with Sublime Text. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit so it's easier to jump between the windows. So let's just have a quick look at our mock-up just to remind us what order these go in. So we have search, home and the menu. So let's start with search. We're just going to copy this whole block of text and we are going to paste it in right in between that A tag. And let's do the same for home and the menu. So let's get the home. Copy that, replace the tool. And number three was the menu. Let's copy that, paste those in, and hit save. So let's go and have a look at the site in our browser and see how we're going. So I've just given that a refresh and we can only see the search icon and if I inspect that I can see that it already has a class that's giving it a width and a height and these other two don't so let's go back to the code and, and give them a width and a height and see if they appear. So let's just copy this class from the first SVG and we're just going to paste it in there and paste it into this one too and save back to the browser refresh now we have our three SVGs our icons here aren't quite lining up properly and I think it's because this last one has a margin right of four so let's just go and quickly fix that up and we're just going to delete margin right four go back give it a refresh and there we go that's that's looking a bit better now so I think that's a pretty good first pass at our navigation section of this website. I'm just going to go and make one last tweak to this menu icon. And I'm just going to bump the width and the height up to 10. Just to see if that increases the size to match these other icons. Right, let's go and have a look at our mock-up and see what's next. So the next section under our nav is this middle part, which are these leaves, beautiful green tea to your door. So let's go and add that in. So under our navigation, which is this div here. So if we just change this to nav, I'll copy that and I believe that is the closing div there. If we just follow that line down, 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 down. Yep, that's the closing div. So under there, we're going to have another div, which is our middle section. Then we're going to need to go back to our exercise files and open up this leaves SVG. We'll copy that. And paste that in. fix our indenting right now we need two p tags one with beautiful green tea and the other with to your door now we know that they were all stacked on top of each other on the page so we're going to go flex and flex coal and they're all fairly centered as well so we can go item center and justify center let's save that and see where we're at okay we're getting there let's go back to the code so beautiful green tea was slightly larger than the other text so we're going to say text and we're going to say 5xl we're going to say text yellow 100 and for the to your door, we're going to go class text to Excel. Let's save that and have a look. Okay, getting there. Let's 
think we probably need to center that text as well. So let's go text center. Have a look. Okay, that's looking better. I think we're starting to win. Let's go back to our mock-up. So we're missing this border in between the two pieces of text. So uh, let's go back to our code. Okay, and what we're going to need to do is for this to your door p tag is give it a class of border one of border top. We're also going to give it some padding top and some margin top of four. So let's go back and see how that looks. Okay, now we have our border. Okay, let's go back to our mock-up and see how we're going. So I feel like we're getting there. We've done the navigation and this section here. I know they don't match exactly at the moment, but we can always go back and we'll find things later on. So this video is taking a bit longer than I thought it would we've still got this bottom section to do so I think what I'll do is stop here and pick things up in the next video